Hello, everybody. It is L.E. Diecast, and we are back again. This time we're going to be taking a look at the classics, Hot Wheel classics, um, in no particular order, and I, I'm not going to show all of them that I have. If, if the, the video is popular, we can look at more of these. And we've seen these show up in videos along the way. There, there always seems to be a few of these in the larger lots of cars that come through here. But uh, I never really talked about what they what they were, and uh, I thought we could actually do that. So uh, let's get started. I got to get my my notes here. Okay. Um, so the the cool classic series that you see on the shelf at Walmart right now. That's the one with the special paint jobs. They're kind of a split off of this one, and they're very similar. These classic cars, which came out, oh, oh, I don't know if I even remember the dates on them. I think they were about 2002 through 2007-ish. Um, that's probably too early. It was probably 2005, I think, is when they first came out. Um, these had metal bases, metal bodies, and I'll show you. There, they got metal bases and metal bodies. So they're fairly heavy cars. And they were made for the, the older collector, the, the guy that's out there at Walmart that wanted something a little bit better than just the main lines. But um, the real draw with these was the Spectraflame paint. And... I'm using my light diffuser here. That's kind of the reason I made the light diffuser was to get a good shot of these cars. And I'm going to kind of move these in and out as I talk. And by the way, they're not all cars. There were a few planes and other, other specialized things. This is a uh, 65 Mustang. The... Um, but the neat thing about them, that Spectrofame paint, paint, obviously, that they had the tampos and the usual type of things that Hot Wheels have. The tampos, for the most part, were fairly toned down. So you're either maybe getting like uh, one branding on them or one set of flames, something like that. Fairly calm, a lot like what you see on the cool classics today. But they would come in a ton of colors and I don't have the list in front of me of maybe which one had the most colors but just as an example here's a uh, oh I got a 68 Mustang wait a second I got the wrong Mustang here here we go here's a Cuda Cuda there we go so there's a, um, a Hemi Cuda which is number 29 of 30 for that particular series. This came from series two that we're looking at now. And here's another one. Same year. And that one's blue. Now we're used to this with the main lines. They play games with the colors all the time. It's a good way to sell sell more of the same casting, obviously. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of these. <laughs> there. There's anywhere from maybe seven to ten color variations of each car. And some of them were very similar. So if you collect these, you really had to kind of be aware of the different colors. And not, it wasn't like there were just ten colors and then every car came in ten colors. There was like fifteen different colors and then each car might come in anywhere from you know, I don't know, seven to ten colors. Here's a Dodge Dart. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, and this one is from Series 1. So there was four series of these, by the way, four different years. Must have gone 20, uh, 2002, 3, 4, and 5, I think. And then in 2005... No, that's wrong. It was 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. Yeah, Series 1 was 2005. Um... And then after that, they discontinued them. But here's the uh, Dodge Dart. Running out of room here. Here's another Dodge Dart, same year, Series 1. That one's a cool green, right? And I don't know if this was antifreeze or I don't remember the names. All the colors had fancy names. Here's another green. And this one is more of like an apple green. And I'll put the two together so you can see. And see how they're barely different. 
One of the reasons I got the diffuser is so you could tell the difference of color. Otherwise, my my light will blow out the color on these. So they're barely different, and they're two different colors. As far as collectability of these guys go, uh, if you like them, there are people that collect them. There are certain ones that are worth quite a bit. Here's a uh, customized VW drag truck in like a burgundy. Here's another one in that kind of antifreeze green. And another one in this one in kind of an aqua green. The greens really throw me on these. There's about four different greens that they came in. Yeah, they're not overly collectible. They weren't particularly hard to find. Um, I'm going to just show some here while I'm talking. They weren't particularly hard to find. And they aren't old enough that they've really gone up in value. Certain, you know, the, 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 the cars that tend to be more popular, like the dairy deliveries and the drag buses, tend to be obviously pretty pricey if you see them. But for the most part, you can get these for anywhere from, oh, $2 to maybe $7 each on eBay or at shows. Uh, I get almost all of mine at shows these days. I'm going to have to hold that one up for you to see. Dairy delivery. Um, and I never pay more than $3 for them, to be honest. I usually buy them in larger lots, so I get a better deal. But um, uh, that's cheaper than they cost when they came out. <laughs> when these came out, they were 3 to $4.00. Um, here's one with the price tag on it, just as we mentioned that. This one is from, what is that? <laughs> I was going to read read what the store was, but I don't know what that store is. Here's here's a Thunderbolt, and there's your price tag, $379. That's about what the uh, cool classics go for today. So, pretty, pretty neat cars. Um, and let me get you another one here to look at. Here's an Anglia truck. There you go. This one in kind of a, a, a what we call that, a copper, maybe. Um, so there were five series. I think I said four before. There was five series, and each came with 30 or so castings. And I haven't shown you the back. Here, we'll take a look at the back. There's the cars, and this is in series. What is this one? This was series two. So there's all the cars in series two. All the cards had all the cars on the back, but remember there were tons of color variations of each of these. So if you're going to collect them, I would decide early if you're going to collect all the colors of certain cars or if you're going to collect all the cars in any color that you can get. Or maybe you're going to collect all the green ones of each one or whatever. It's what makes them kind of fun to collect. Um, yeah, they, they just came in a lot of colors. The series ran for five years. I think I said four years before. There was also a Vintage Classics in, 19, or in 2008, and I think that was the fifth series. It's the one that came with a button. You might have seen these at the car shows. The first four series were packaged like what you're seeing. I don't have any of those Vintage uh, Series cars in their packaging. But uh, the last series came with a button. The thing, the reason I mention that is often that that vintage series, for new collectors, they go to shows, and the vintage series had the red line um, wheels on them, and with the Spectra paint, Spectra color paint, Spectra flame paint, a lot of new collectors think that they're old red lines, and sometimes they're sold as old red lines when the people selling them either don't know that they're not old red lines or maybe they're just trying to rip people off. So. If you see a perfect condition red line that really looks like it's in perfect condition, you might really check quick to make sure it's not one of those vintage vintage classics. And if you've watched my videos, I know of at least two situations where I was positive I had a red line car and it was one of the vintage classics. So they do look very much like red lines. This is a Roger Dodger we're looking at here. He's from Series 3. Um, so the... My opinion, the, the, the classic series, the ones you're looking at now, and the Larry's Garage series, which we, we've done a, a video on earlier, I really, those are my two favorite series. 
I, I really like them because they're just fun to collect. They're, they're just rare enough that they're kind of hard to find, but they really don't cost a ton. They're not overly collectible yet, but maybe someday, you know. I love the variations. You guys know that, so perfect. Um, yeah, Hot Wheels for a long time has always had kind of this middle lineup series like the cool classics. Uh, like the hot ones, um, there's a mad props. They had two mad, or they had mad props in the series. I think I have another one here. Yeah, here's a green, green-ish mad props. He's from series two. Uh, they've always had kind of this middle line. There's always been in the main lines, and then kind of a middle-ish line that uh, is made for the collectors. There's a KB Toys, so that's $3.99. Yeah, these cost between about $3 and $4, so there you go. We'll take a look at a few more of these just so you can see the variations that that they had with them. Here's the uh, GMC Motorhome. Kind of picking and choosing my favorite ones here as we get towards the end. By the way, these aren't so good for the track. They're not great track cars. Uh, when you get the metal bases and the metal bodies, the center of gravity on them goes pretty high. So it doesn't take much to fling these guys off a track. Uh, if you can get them on a straight track, they're usually pretty good. But if you're trying to go around a turn, yeah, not so good. <laughs> Here's another one just to show you these colors. This is a three window 34 another one of my favorites this one came in a dozen or so colors it was part of series two there's one look at this blue that's a cool one some of the colors by the way were rarer than others and you would have to get a guide to really know which ones were more rare but it was not always like the green ones were more rare than the blue ones or purple ones were more rare than something else it just depended on the car speaking of purple there's a purple one there also were chase pieces uh often either the 30th car or 31st car was a chase piece with these and the chase pieces can be very pricey i don't have any of the chase pieces yet vw bug three bug fans didn't want to leave you guys out hot bird look at this one it's almost like a zamac Hot bird's really cool. So yeah, the classics, the classics. Um, really a neat series. Like I said, I have a lot of these. I have two cases of them. I don't have any of the sets complete. And if I had all the colors of even one car, I would show you, but I don't. If anybody's ever looking to trade, this is one of the series that really gets my attention. <laughs> so, there you go. Pontiac Bonneville, cool one. So, we're going to wrap this one up. I could keep showing you these forever, but, you know, I'll see here. I'll show you one more. I'll show you one more. We'll wrap up on the uh, 55 Chevy there in blue. So, again, the classics, a cool series worth collecting if you really like the variations look into it let me know what you think down below remember to subscribe and like and one up and share also remember we've got our contest going on check out episode 185 for that and why don't you jump on the facebook page and you can see more of stuff like this and listen to people complain and moan about cars they can't find or things that they found and how excited they are of what they found today all on the facebook page at ellie.com so, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.